Welcome to our Angular 2 tutorial. Today we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with reactive forms. Our viewer has a question about dynamically disabling a form control based on a condition. They have a select control called doc type that should be disabled unless a certain category is active. However, even when the category changes to document, the control remains disabled. Let's dive into this problem and find out how to fix it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To dynamically enable or disable a form control in Angular, we need to use the form group and form control classes effectively. Let's start by understanding the current setup. In your code, the doc type control is initialized with a disabled state based on the active category. However, this state does not update automatically when active category changes. To fix this, we need to update the disabled state of the doc type control whenever active category changes. We can achieve this by using the value changes observable. Now, whenever active category changes, the doc type control will be enabled or disabled accordingly. This ensures that the form behaves as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To disable a form control dynamically in Angular 2, you can set the disabled property in your TypeScript file. You can specify true to disable or false to enable the form control. In your HTML, you can bind the form controls using form control name. This allows you to manage the form state directly from the template. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To disable a form control dynamically in Angular 2, you can use the disable method on the control. For example, you can disable the doc type control by calling this.activityform.controls.doctype.disable. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To disable a form control dynamically in Angular, you can use a ternary operator. This allows you to set the disabled state based on a condition. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.